Next, everybody, it's gonna be Bite the Bullet. I'm looking for Marshall from Mega Cat Studios. Here he comes. Uh, he describes Bite the Bullet as run and gun. Satisfy your appetite for destruction in this roguelike RPG where you must eat to power up your character, weapons, and abilities. Everybody, Marshall and Bite the Bullet. Thanks so much, sir. So again, when you guys send in your footage, first thing that struck me, of course, was the visual style. <laughs> like, you're gonna see this, it's like, yes. Yes! Look at this thing, are you kidding me? Just flexing for no reason? It's like Nick Scarpino made a game. <laughs> so uh, that's that's Chewella. You can also play as Chewy. Sure. So uh -huh. Bite the Bullet's the world's first run and gun and eat. So it's really <laughs> a game about all your dietary choices. It's how you're gonna do your crafting, how you do your skill upgrades. It's a lot of the, the retro roots there, but a lot of the more modern trappings of cut character customization and character choice. So yeah, I was gonna say, what the hell does that even mean? <laughs> it's all based on what <laughs> well, I eat? So if you stun an enemy here, if you ever want to know what zombie meat tastes like, this is your opportunity. It's a question I've asked myself. Who would ever want to know what that I tastes mean, like? <laughs> you've had deep, dark thoughts. We all know this. So sure. uh, you stun the enemy, eat the enemy, and that's gonna determine how you branch out your character skills and your upgrades and also how you do your crafting. And there's also a ton of weapons here. We got a flamethrower rocking. So there's a big variety in the weapons as well. So all this is gonna determine how you move through what's gonna feel like a retro world, but has a really deep player customization to it. So how long have you guys been working on this game? So we've been working on it for about two years, uh, but really going super hard in the last eight months now that we have uh, publisher support. Yeah, who's the publisher? Graffiti Games. Oh. They've been very kind to us, so check out Graffiti Games. Where does the idea for something like this start? Because again, uh, when you look at it, sure, it screams back to you, Contra, right? You see it being- the Metal one. Slug, that yeah. kind of stuff. I mean, so it starts there, and then we started really trying to challenge ourselves with, we have these like classic game mechanics, platforming, run and gun. How can we bring in the more modern stuff of like really elaborate skill trees, really elaborate moder weapon modifiers, and then also our development team's a little weird. Yeah. So we started talking about- No, <laughs> really? Making oh. a game where you flex and eat zombies. <laughs> Not and weird eat robots all. and eat plants yeah. and stuff like that. So we kind of kept the humor with it and really dug deep. So here's an example of the skill tree here and it's gonna pan a little bit and you'll see just how, uh, how expansive this can get. And that's the question I guess is like, I know this is a weird question, but how expansive can it get? Like, it looks deep, right? Like, is it one of those that I'm, am I, when I'm going through the skill tree for a playthrough, am I picking that that's how it's going to be? Or is it one of these games I unlock everything by the end? Uh, it's really designed for multiple playthroughs. Okay. So let's say you go with the smorgasbord class where you eat only robots. That's gonna be a bit more like a cyborg tank. Yeah. And if you do the uh, dietary choices outside of that, it's a risk reward scenario. You're gonna get How many dietary choices are well, in Well, listen, if, if you go vegan, which is oh uh, the God. slaughterer of soil, it's really heavy metal take on being a vegan. <laughs> uh, you really shouldn't, you shouldn't I like abandon how that. Family-sized shotgun. We also have uh, spicy critter cannons. Sure, yep. sure, the, why uh, not? Yeah, the, uh, critter cannons, a big discord favorite you shoot mutant creatures at enemies of course why wouldn't you right? i mean it's it's this all makes total sense so I how by surprise how many beers did it take to design this game <laughs> Ooh, oh so we really enjoy korean barbecue so it's been a lot of all you can eat buffets talking about all the things we'd also like to eat oh and there it is the dietary it's, it's choices deep. again it's deep is that, I mean, like, the origin of this game is you guys sitting around with a notebook and like, what if we did this? What if it was Metal Slug, but you ate things? Yeah, that, honestly, that's the cool thing about our creative team yeah. is the way we can ping pong things around and we're okay with taking it to weird places. Yeah. I mean, not that this is any indication. This is Zombro mode, by the way. So if you eat enough enemies, you can uh, go into this, like, Hulk out invincible mode. And we're pretty excited about our, our boss battles as well. So these big set piece moments and how you handle these boss phases is gonna be really driven by the character you've built. So you'll see this guy will rip in half in a second, and uh, your play style is gonna really drive how you solve these big challenges. So you talk about multiple playthroughs. Is this a shorter game? Am I uh, am I blazing through it? Like, 50 I mean, plus levels. That seems like a long game. So it's I not gonna, gonna be, be uh, it's, it's not, a, not a quick play. It's really designed for depth and really designed to uh, challenge you in a lot of different ways and make you make a bunch of choices. Wow. Because it's, it's hard to pick what to eat for dinner, right? It is, it is. Mm -hmm. We all know that, right? Mm -hmm. We're all struggling with that right now as the five o'clock hour approaches. Absolutely. What will we have for dinner? Absolutely. What was that? Wings is a good pick. All right, mm. yeah. Can I eat wings in this game? Uh, no. Damn it. No. It's 4.9. <laughs> well, I, the bank, I, 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 think, I think we're done here. That's what's, that's what's 
<laughs> so how big is your studio? We haven't talked about that. Make so we have, uh, we have a, a pretty big team. We've been at it for a little bit. Uh, it's been about eight core people working on this, but there's been so many hands involved in both inside and outside of the studio to make this happen. Yeah. So it's, it's really hard to just say a set number of people sure. involved because it's really a community effort. Did he, is he vomiting into a scale there? That might be how you end each level. Jesus God. Um, yeah, yeah. Jesus God, like what is it? Well, if you're eating, if you eat too much, and if you eat too much, your character's also gonna gain weight, and that's gonna be a big part of your play choices as so well. So wait, can I not, do I have to vomit at the end of the stage or no? Do you want spoilers? Yeah. Yeah, you have to vomit. God, get off the stage. <laughs> Bite the bullet, January 2020, everybody. PC, Switch, Xbox One. Follow at Mega Cat Studios, 5201 on the sixth floor. Join our Discord. Thank you so much, thank you so much, Marshall. Uh, up next, ladies and gentlemen, I'm